In this exercise, you'll change the naming template so that assemblies will include the side on which the subassembly is placed. For example, if basic lane subassemblies are placed on either side of the assembly, they're named basic lane left and basic lane right. Performing this task makes it easy to manage assemblies and subassemblies in complex drawings. Open the assembly 1B drawing in your tutorials folder. This drawing contains an assembly baseline that does not have any subassemblies attached to it. If the tool palette containing the subassemblies is not visible, click on your Home tab, go under Palettes, and click on the Tool Palettes tab. Right click on your Tool Palettes control bar. Select Civil Imperial subassemblies. Next, click the Basic tab and click Basic Lane. In the Properties, under Advanced, we want to keep the side at right. In the drawing, click the marker point on the assembly baseline. The right lane subassembly is now attached to the assembly baseline. Now in the properties palette, go under advanced and set the side to left. In the drawing, click the marker point for our baseline again. And now, as you can see, the left lane subassembly is now attached to the baseline. Go ahead and press Escape. Next, in the tool space, under our Prospector tab, select the Assemblies collection. After we expand our assemblies, you'll notice the right and left collections. You'll change the naming convention in the following steps so the additional assemblies that are inserted do not use the same name. So let's modify the subassembly name template. In the tool space, select the settings tab and then right click on the subassembly. Click edit feature settings. In the edit feature settings subassembly dialog box, Expand the subassembly name templates. And then along the Create from Macro row, click the value and select this button. Now within the name template, we're going to focus in on the property fields and select subassembly side. Highlight the next counter within this area between the parentheses and click Insert. As a tip, to display the subassembly name in the local language, use the subassembly local name field in place of the macro short name. Click OK twice. Next, go back to your tool space and under Settings, expand your subassembly. Right click under Commands Create Subassembly Tool and select Edit Command Settings. Now expand the subassembly options. In the subassembly name row, click the value cell and select Use Name Template. Then click OK. Lastly, we're going to examine the updated subassembly naming convention. In the Tool Palettes window, Select the Basic Curb and Gutter subassembly. In the Properties panel, under Advanced, we're going to change this to Right. In the Drawing, select the marker point at the top right edge of the travel lane. Remember, if you attach the subassembly to the wrong marker, you can move it to the correct location by pressing Escape to exit the subassembly placement mode. In the Properties palette, under Advanced, we're going to switch to Left. In the drawing, click the point at the top left edge of the travel lane, and then press Escape. In your Prospector tab, 
go ahead and expand your assemblies collection. Notice that there are two new sub-assemblies, basic curb and gutter left and basic curb and gutter right. These names are more specific than those of the basic lane sub-assemblies. Now note that the next exercise demonstrates more best practices for assembly and sub-assembly naming in drawings that contain many corridor assemblies. So that's how you go about modifying the sub-assembly name template in Civil 3D.